Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, Happy New Year if you've not already seen a video with Happy New Year on it. Yay, we're now in 2024. Can't believe it. Oh my goodness me. 24 years since the millennium. It's just flying by. Anyway, uh, what isn't flying by is the amount of crystals and special drills I have to put away. Oh heck yes. Um, after saying I'm not going to spend stockpile them anymore i'm going to put them all away uh yeah christmas happened and things before christmas happened with hubby in hospital and things like that and me being poorly and uh yeah i've ended up with a massive amount to put away again <laughs> i can't believe it anyway let's uh, see if we can put some of these away uh, i've gone through the kits that i've done these are all the ones that i like um, the special shapes and special sizes and everything uh, that don't have any numbers on so I'll put those on one side for now these are all canvases that I've done that are still in the little packets uh, oh that one doesn't have a DMC number on uh, that's a craft buddy one um, that have got the little code numbers on them which as I did say I was going to start if I get any um, of the canvases that have like these code numbers on them I am going to start putting the gems and everything away in these code numbers so it will take a little bit longer to do uh, I have got lots of uh, crystals silver crystals to go in my silver crystals I've got some blacks to put away there and I've got some whites to put away there as well and then I've got some twinklers and some ABs. So they're all on one side for now. Right, uh, what I've decided to do with this box, because I'm now finding that I've got numbers on these gems and a lot of the kits now are coming, as I say, uh, with the numbers on. So I can actually use that crystal number, which I'm sure I have got a code um, that converts from the crystal number to DMC numbers and I can't find it but I will find it because I know I've put it somewhere safe I'm sure I printed it out as well and I've put that somewhere safe but things eventually turn up uh, so I'm going to just use these crystals now and the ones that I've colour matched I may just donate oh da, da, da. <laughs> so I'm going to move these out of this box into a container and then i've got them a bit more organized oh and then i need to get some better dividers for this box so i will just have the crystals and then i have still got the crystal dmc box as well which have got all the dmc numbers on so eventually these will merge in with those but at the moment i'm keeping them separate so i'm just going to see i think i'll have to put oh there's lots of gems in the bottom of this one i think i'm going to have to uh oh that's an empty box a bag what are these then? Why have I got these at the front? Okay. I think they're the grey colours. So I'm going to see if I can uh, put these in here without mucking them up too much. Not that it really matters anymore because I am, as I say, going to donate them. That's red. So then we want pink. So I even went to the trouble of putting little cards in as well. Look. Okay. Pink there, ooh, purple, will I get four across? Possibly not, anyway, so yeah, I need to make some nice dividers for this box as well, which I've not quite done yet, so gold, green it's the blues honestly green and blue seem to be the largest number of different shades uh, or they seem to be the largest number of shades that i'm using anyway got all these blues so will they fit down there just about let's just squash those in there right so all that time i spent color matching those and i knew eventually i'd think no, not doing it. But anyway, so they're now out of the way. Okay, I have still got those bags where I've put all the greens, all the blues um, and everything all together. So now these want shifting across this way. So look, I've got Craft Buddy crystals written on there. 
but uh, they are going to be others as well because it seems to be that that is the generic thing. So let's do one, two. Ooh. I was going to say let's do one to 100, but we do seem to have uh, quite a lot. <laughs> so I'm at, oh, 26. That one's escaped there. Look. Some of them I have actually got two bags for as well because I have been collecting them for a long time. All right, that's up to 100. So, right, let's put that there. So that's up to 100 there. And then that's from 101 upwards. Okay. So, uh, hmm. Yeah, I do need to make some more dividers. I have got some more of the foam board. I just need to put the covers and everything on it. Let me put those cards at that side there. So, right, I need something at the back there. Put those there for now. Because they're the good little plastic bags that I like to use. Because they're the ones that stand up better. Right, that's got that organised. Let me grab a tray. I was going to say a little tray, but I tend to use a big tray when I'm kitting down. So, I'm not quite sure why I've got an extra spare bag there, but never mind. Put that over there. Right, so we can put away the little Rudolph. This is one of the last things that I did. Um, I think I did a wooden chat with this one, didn't I? Oh, and he's not crystals, is he? He's just standards. So maybe I won't do that one then. <laughs> They want to go in my standard ones. So I'll put that one back away then. Oh, that's not a good start, is it, Liz? Try and be organised for a change. <laughs> um, oh, this was the lights that I did. And then sadly, these didn't actually have DMC codes on them, which, yeah, that was a bit sad. Not quite sure why they've done it that way, but anyway, so these will just go oops again in generic sorry that is the chair squeaking that isn't me i promise so these are all just standards that's silver so silver oops is there wants to go in my silver jar and then these are larger crystals and shaped crystals so these all want to go in the larger and shaped so they're large rounds a standard hot pink and they're standard so got all these standard ones look that i need to sort out so i'll pop those in here yeah if anybody needs any standard crystals or has any groups or anything or charities that need some donations let me know um, and i can see what i can do to get in them to you yeah, i prefer uk only though please because postage is quite a bit um of money unfortunately for sending them uh, to other countries uh, right so i can put those over there with all the generics so let me just get those I'm trying to make sure they don't fall off the desk as well Right, so let's start on the first ones then and see what we've got, see what we can get put away. Uh, put these to this side over here. This is my special shapes. Uh, if you've not seen these before, if you're uh, new to the channel, hello, thank you for stopping by. Uh, this is my ongoing organisation where I'm... Ooh, one's just escaped off the desk. <laughs> Yeah, it tends to be a little bit chaotic here. So, yeah, be prepared for anything. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, this is all based on uh, Rebecca Admore Zest's diamond painting storage. Um, I've got all my resin and acrylic drills um, for rounds and squares in boxes like this, all in DMC code order. I do have a crystal box with all DMC code order if they've got uh, dmc codes on this is the one where it is a crystal code on it from one to whatever but it's not the dmc code it is just like a crystal code these are all large rounds teardrops marquees and miscellaneous which are stars squares um all different shapes flowers and everything and i have these in color order which are silver gold yellow blue green red whatever 
and they're all in there and i did always used to put them just in um shape order so i'd look for a red um large round and i'd go to the reds and look for a large round and now i have discovered as i say that uh, the some of the now uh, some of the special drill canvases now have the key codes on them and the gem codes on them and i have found that they are quite generic for most kits that you do so i'm starting to actually put the little code numbers on the bag so that i can get like with like what i'll actually do with that information when it's finished i'm not sure uh, my initial thing was oh i'll make myself a big key code um, and have one of each gem stuck on a board and then I can see what they all are but I do think there's going to be thousands of different ones and with all the new things coming out I do think that there's going to be so many it, it might not be possible to do that so at the moment I am just using the codes so I can keep like with like and then I'll see from then onwards what I'm going to do with them so I'm going to kit some down today as I say and we'll see where we end up Right, so this was my uh, FG Normal Gonk Wreath. That was this one, look. Yeah, K399, yeah, that was the one with uh, the couple on it that's me and hubby. <laughs> so I've kept two of the key codes on this one, not quite sure why, but anyway. So I need to be looking at uh, the numbers of the bags and then I also need to be looking uh, this is going to get fun, isn't it? I'm going to run out a desk here. Let me just uh, move a few. If I put those in the back there. Okay. Uh, keep those there. That might be better. I want you to still be able to see what I'm doing. So maybe if I use the middle and put the boxes either side, do you think that'll work better? Quite possibly. And then these bits I actually keep and these go in my logbook so that I know what paintings I've done, where they came from um, and how much they cost and everything. So, right, we need these in order. So 11, 10, 9, oh, so they are in order. Well, that's good then. So we'll start at number one. So number one is number 79 crystal code, which is um, a brownie colour there. So we want number 79. All right, so let's have a look and see if we have a 79. And have I got a little card I can just put in in place of that? Let me just put a little card in there. Yep, so this is number 79. And yep, they do look the same colour, so that's good. Um, I always check that they are the same colour as well. I don't want to be mixing different colours with different colours. If I do find it's a completely different colour, then I do put the number on it and put another bag with it because it may be that one's wrong or they've changed the colour or whatever. But so far, I've only had that happen to me once um, and that could have possibly been me putting them in the wrong one as well because that does happen. Okay, so that's number one done. Number two is then number one. So number two is actually uh, your standard crystal which that bag is exceptionally full. Actually, that looks as though it's got different colours in there. I think I've put a blue in there as well as a silver, but never mind. Um, but I do have my silver jar. If you've been with me a while, you will have seen this jar and you'll have seen that I actually changed the jar out. I've got splashes of black ink on because I was filling up my ink and it went everywhere. Yeah, and, ugh, I'm just so clumsy, it's unbelievable. <laughs> So I'm going to put the silver in with the silver jar. Uh, if you are new to the channel, hello, thank you for stopping by. I hope you'll stay, stay with us and subscribe. You're in that little subscribe button at the bottom so you don't miss anything. So that's the silvers. Okay, and then number three is number 200. So do we have a number 200? Uh, oh, that one says 725 on it. Wow. Um, let me see. Do we have a number 200? Uh, uh, no, we don't. So we need a new one. So let me grab my lovely stickers from the lovely Rebecca Admore Zest. And right, number 200 on this. Sorry about the shadows. It's... Uh, just one of those days. Right, so 200. And we want a nice bag. 
Oh, come on, frame, Liz. I'm out of practice at doing this. Is it this long since I've done them? Make sure I've got it on the right side because these bags actually open up that way. So 200 and we'll put these in this one. Okay, I'm not quite sure how long this is going to take. So I may do some of these on camera and um, I may do some another day. Uh, split it into two because as I say when I do long whip and chats it can take hours and hours and hours I think the last video that I did was, that was 50 odd minutes took four hours to upload to YouTube so yeah I do uh, get impatient while I'm waiting right so the next one number four is number 77 so let's have a look for number 77 okay so 78, 77, so, okay, and yep, yeah, that's the same colour, so that's good. I do like to be organised, I do like, if I can, if I'm going to keep something, then I do like it to be labelled or organised. Um, I'm not very good at having things haphazard, I'll be, if you could see my craft room at the moment, you'd probably laugh your head off, because <laughs> it's very haphazard. Right, number five is 189. So go back on this side again. One, 189. I've got it in my hand here. So let's put that card there. And again, it looks the same colour. So yay. I love it when a plum comes together. Right, put that in there. Okay, so 189. And then we've got 202. So we didn't have a 200, but have we got a 202? No, we haven't. So we need another label. So we want 202. Okay, and another little bag. These are really good, these bags as well, because they've got like a smaller lip at this side. So you've got just that little bit of overhang, so they open up a little bit easier as well. You know which way around they go. Strange, a plastic bag has a right way and a wrong way. <laughs> oh dear, such is life. Right, so let's have a look at these. Okay, so that one can go in there. Ooh, that's a thick bag. I wonder where I got that one from. Just as I've been using my bags to do this. Right, and then number seven is 23. So we're back in this side. 18 is there, 25, 23. Okay, so excellent. Prefer doing this to having to colour match. It's a lot quicker. Right, pour the right ones into the right bag, Liz. Don't be pouring the wrong one <laughs> in the wrong way. So that's those. So at the moment, that is those complete on this one. And now I need to be in my other box. Okay. Uh, the next one is S001. So it's a silver and it's whoa, one of those little teeny tiny uh, slivers, marquees. So we're looking in marquees and we want teeny tiny. So let's just slip that there. So one of the numbers that I've got on a previous kit, anything that's one of the round ones is a craft buddy number. So I'm looking for, these are marquees and I actually need teardrops. They're teardrops, Liz, they're not marquees. Oh dear. <laughs> I tell you, if I had a brain, I'd be dangerous. So I think they could be those because they are very small ones with no coating on them so let's just oh that's a, a marquee so that wants to go back in the marquees so this box is getting very very full yeah just teardrops to sorry about that uh hubby rang and uh yeah i had to stop to answer the phone and then i forgot to press record <laughs> back on so you've missed a couple um i've just found out that these sort of like smallish red uh, semi spheres actually have a co crystal code and the craft buddy code as well so i've left both on for now and we'll see uh, which one we end up with using but that's what we've got at the moment so that's that one and then we've just got is it oh two two more to go 
so we want number 10 is a white one and that is q093 so where did i put white black um that's your yellow did i put white after black i think i did because yes i did because i know i lost them last time i couldn't find my whites and it's because i put them after blacks right so i'm looking for this one and it's like a mediumish round so let's take out which ones it's definitely not uh, yep they're too small they've got a coating on uh it could be those not those not those not those not those not those so i've actually got white and cream in with the white as well so let's have a look are these the same ones could be yes they are so we now have a name for this one as well so this one is a q093 okay let's put that on there and i'm gonna have an awful lot more kitting down to do on specials because it is smashing the specials from the 1st of january to the 31st of january uh, that's mindy mindy's diamond moment and brandy mystery of diamonds so if you check out their channels, um, they are doing it on their Facebook group. I think it's Diamond Moments and Crafts. So if you go and check that out, um, there is prizes and everything. So it's worth having a look. Right. And then the final one is M45, which is red marquees. So let's get the red marquees out and have a look in here. So we're looking for, oh, that one's got a fire red on it, a medium-ish size. Oh, could be those, could be those. They've got a coating on as well, so let's pop those back. Let's see if we've got this one. Is this one? And yes, it is. So we've got another one we can put a name on as well. Eventually, once they say they've got the names on, then it will just be a case of taking out that bag with the name on. But at the moment it's made it a little bit more of a longer task but that's okay it's easier once it's done oh come on don't start playing me up i'm trying not to put my fingers on the label so i don't smudge the ink on uh, the label but uh, yeah it's not working out very well <laughs> and i'm trying to stay in camera as well oh dear i need to get this camera sorted so that it's higher up it's come lower and lower it started off higher up when i started filming and i think it's maybe come down a little bit as i've answered the phone i'll see if i can get it a bit higher again right so that's that one so that wants to go in a large uh, sorry marquees in red so that is now that one done i can put this one back in its little packet over there and that goes in my box to put in my lock book Right, we're a little bit higher up, so hopefully you can see a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to put these, those 11 bags, yeah. Just going to put these bags all back in this little bag here, because they're all numbered 1, 2, 11. So then I can use that on the next one that I need numbered bags. Okay, the next one was my lovely, huge Christmas scene from DP Clubs. So let's have a look and see what we've got in this one. Yeah, that's the little key code there. So this one is 11 different gems and colours. Were these all just standard crystals? Not quite. Oh, no. No, anything with the letter at the beginning of it is a special. So let's have a look at these. Let's pop them in order. So One is your standard crystal. Six. Wow, that's a big bag. So I tend to keep the ones with the numbers on and then I can uh, use them. So that's a number eight, eight, nine, one, two, four. Have I got number three? One, two, three, four, five, six. 
seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So they're the specials. And these are just the crystals. So number one, that's an easy one. They will go straight in the crystals jar. Yay! I've actually got another bigger jar as well. So yeah, I might actually. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yes, I might actually uh, get this one filled up, you never know. Uh, yeah, but they don't, they look great. I, I just love these crystals, it's real. Yeah, I could sit and uh, just twirl that round all day. <laughs> Probably not a good thing to do, but anyway. Right, so number two is number 20. 23, goodness me. Right, so have we got a 23? Uh, we have, and it does have yellow crystals in it, yellow gold. So that's good. So we'll pop those in there. Okay. And then what's the next one? Uh, number three is number four. Oh dear. <laughs> So I want number four, number three, number four, number four. I think I actually have two bags of. Yes, I do, because it's a very Christmassy red. Okay. Yeah, it's probably one of the colours I've used the most. That and the green. I've got two bags of a green colour as well. I say mainly because of Craft Buddy and their uh, colours that I've done all the Christmas cards on. Right, so number four is number 48. So let's look for 47, 48. Yay! That's that colour. So I hope everybody's doing okay and that life is treating you as kindly as possible. And big healing hugs to anybody that needs one at the moment. Uh, we've had some uh, really bad weather at the moment. Right, number five is number 27. Uh, there's been lots of flooding and things. I know the water that's near us is quite high up, so we've been keeping an eye on it. We're a, a house away from it, but uh, the houses that are next door to us are right next to. It's like a, a drain type thing runs along the side going into the haven. And, uh, yeah, we just need to keep an eye on that and make sure that uh, we're not getting water coming over the top. And number six is number 217. So let's have a look. Have we got a 217? No. So we want a label for number 217. Yeah, I know some places have been flooded. It's very, very sad. Because water is so destructive. And uh, we were very lucky with the last lot of floods, the really massive amount of floods that we had around the uh, East Yorkshire area. We've been very lucky. So I keep my fingers crossed every time we have heavy rains like this because the ground is just so saturated. I will never get to do my snow, Scotty. But anyway, that's just being selfish, so... <laughs> Right, so number seven, we are on to gold stars. And number eight is gold stars as well. So we want the gold section and we want miscellaneous. Because anything that's not a round or a marquee or a teardrop goes in the miscellaneous. Right, let me look at gold marquee, teardrop. And then that's yellow. So there must be a miscellaneous card somewhere there. There is... And we want those from there. Right. So let's have a look. We want smallish stars and biggish stars. So they're like medium. Uh, are they smallish? They could be smallish stars. Uh, they're possibly the same size, but they're a different colour. And they're smallish stars as well. Do you know, I thought I had more gold stars than that, but obviously not. Maybe I've used them. Yeah. Okay. So are they those? Uh, yes, they are in the same colour. So that's good. It also means as well that if, you know, people um, are looking for spares, I do try and help out where I can. 
um, then you know I, I know if you can give me the number I could probably have a look for it and plus as well if I find that I've missed one off a, a canvas um, I can then go and look for it or if it's come off at some point so number seven is X065 Right, yes it is, and that is number seven. So that's this bag, okay. Oops, these little stars do like to jump, uh, sorry, hearts, and they do like to, uh, like to jump off these things, don't they? Make a break for freedom. So that's that one. Ooh, there's an extra different gem in there, but never mind, it can go in there. And then the larger ones, number eight, are X077. Okay, sorry about the uh, darkness and the shadows again today. It is very, very dark here. And yeah, not uh, very good at all. Let's just pop those in there. Okay. So that's the miscellaneous golds. Can go back in the miscellaneous gold. Okay. And then number nine is Q108. So this is some more red ones. Let's say the red ones are. Uh, The red ones are exceptionally popular at Christmas. So these are a, more of a cherry red. They're a darker red. And could be those. Oh, no. Right. They've got facets on. They haven't got facets on. So I'm looking for ones without facets. And they've got facets. Oh no, they haven't got facets on, but I think, oh, I don't know, they might be the right ones. Have a look. Okay, and then those, they're too small. Right, I think they could be those. So again, the craft buddy number could be just that a little bit different to the other number. Oh, now then, it looks like I've got some with facets and some without facets on this bag. Oh dear, that's not good. I've got muddled up at some point. So I'm going to start a new bag with this number on it then. And then at some point I may or may not sit and uh, go through and just sort those out. It's one of those jobs where you could just sit on a night and just uh, pick out the ones that are in the wrong bag to the ones that you want in that bag. So we'll put that on there. Okay, all right, let's get those put in there. So we've got a few hospital appointments coming up again now. Hubby is going for his uh, dialysis three days a week now. So I get three days a week off, as it were. <laughs> oh dear, no, it's not days off. I've got jobs that I can catch up on, which is great. And I can spend a little bit more time filming as well. Right, so we want Q124, so it's gold large round. So let's get the large round and gold ones out. There is a lot of these as well, goodness me. Okay, so we're looking for this like honey goldy colour and there's no facets. So they've got facets. Look, you can see where I've put labels on before. Don't think I've got a 124, but we'll see if one has anything like that on it and definitely not those they're too small i'll have to put the, some of these down otherwise i'm likely to drop them all so let me just put those back away and these just the well it's not solid gold but the full gold colors so no i've not got any of those so that's another new one hey do need to uh, sort this box out there a little bit. They're all escaping because there's too many in it. Right, Q124. Okay. And let's just. Oops. Oh! <laughs> the 
these little hearts definitely want to escape. They've obviously been on this roll a while and they're thinking, right, as soon as I get taken off this roll, I'm going to run and I'm going to make a break for freedom. Just a little bit anyway. <laughs> right, so that's those as well. So that's another one done. Excellent. Okay, so this one was just eight different colours. So, oh, look, I've missed one. I've missed one, q 90 I need to be in green, large rounds. Oh my goodness me. That was silly, Liz. <laughs> At least I spotted it on the desk and I realised which one it went with. Right, so uh, we're looking for sort of smallish rounds with no facets. They've got facets on them. They're, oh, they haven't. Are they small or are they too small? Oh, could be those, not those, all these different colours. Oh, I love those, so fresh apple green. They've not got facets on either, so I'll take those out as well, just in case. So let's have a look at these. Right, so which size are you, Mr Green? That one's too big. It's that one. Oh, no, then just let me double check. No, nope, it's that one. It's the middle size of the three. So pop those away. So this one is, gosh, my eyesight can't really see that, but I think that says Q90. I don't know if you can hear Millie downstairs, but uh, I've left the television on for it, and I think there's probably a cat or something on the television. So even though there's no sound on, or it's very low sound, um, yeah, she's spotted something. So. The new Jane Plan advert has come out and uh, Millie is uh, attacking the television on the new Jane Plan advert, even though it hasn't got the doorbell sounds. So it obviously wasn't the doorbell sounds as I thought when she uh, was attacking that. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, Millie is our little Scottish terrier that, uh, makes appearances from time to time if you've not seen her yet uh, yes yeah, she does like to get in on the act but at the moment she's sat looking out of the window guarding the garden and uh, yeah looking out for CATs which we can't say anymore in front of her actually because she's learned how to spell would you believe right this one is the little robin wreath that i did this one was set uh, from outdoor tide and it only has eight colors so this one will be a little bit quicker kissing down so let's have a look at this one so number one is number one which is your standard crystal so i'll get those put in this box and these are the Craft Buddy Crystal Art little bags. Look, they've got crystal art on them. Well, some of them are. I like using those little bags. I do like the ones with the numbers on and the diamonds on and things. I just, uh, yeah, I don't get uh, personal choice, but it's just, yeah, I like daft things. Right, so number two is number four, which uh, is our standard red, which uh, we've got the two bags of. These. There's only three specials on this one. Pop those in there. Go on, in you get. In you get. And then number three is number 15. So do we have a number 15? 14 at 15, we do. Okay, she's still growling downstairs. I don't know if you can hear her or not, but there's a definite roo 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 going on. Uh, yeah, she's... Uh, I don't know whether I've already said she went swimming this morning. Not proper swimming, swimming in puddles. She went into, like, the fields around us, as I say, really, really full of water. And, uh, yeah, she got quite high up, um, past her little legs, and, uh, yeah, she decided to start having a bit of a swim. Right, number four is number 27, which I do believe we have got. Yes, we have. Another one of the green colours. Oops. Can't pick it up now. My hands are really dry. 
because I've been taking Christmas decorations down. I've been uh, doing a bit of cleaning as well and I have like those um, wipes and things that I use quite a bit and they've got like bleach and stuff in them. Like, so you tend to find that it dries your hands out a lot and I should have put some hand cream on before I started. Right, then we want 204. So did we have 204? Is that one of the new ones that we've done? No, it was 202, 210. So we need a new bag for 204, okay, so 204, there's a new colour, and then we're on to the specials, I do like the special shapes and things, I get real excited when I see the special shapes, as you've probably seen and probably gathered, <laughs> I'm like a kid in a sweet shop, there you are. So that's those. So now we need, we're back on the red ones look. So we've got two different reds. So what, what are they then? Oh, they're just empty bags. Yeah, I keep the uh, empty numbers there as well. So we're wanting the large round reds, Q114 and Q89. So let's have a look. 108, Q89 is there. So yeah, we've already done that one once. And then number, uh, number six is sort of the medium round red. So, nope. Nope. So, I've not got that one. Ooh. No, I haven't. So, I've got another new one. Right. So, one that we've already got. And one that's a new one. Okay, it's not that one, is it? No. Mm, okay, so we can get these put away as well. Yep, so I say we've got hospital appointments at the moment. Uh, we've got two tomorrow where we're at the doctor's in the morning and we're at the hospital in the afternoon. So tomorrow is going to be a total write-off because we'll both be... Uh, tired by the end of it. Right, so number six is uh, Q114. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing how sitting around hospitals and waiting when you're not even particularly doing anything can just be so tiring. But I think it's maybe because they're so hot as well in the hospitals. You do tend to get tired. Uh, I know when uh, COVID was on and uh, I used to have to go and visit Hubby and be at the hospital quite a bit. Um, it really did take its toll on my hands as well, having to wear gloves and everything all the time. Right, so we're back on... Has that got any facets on it? Yes, it has. So we're on large round greens again with facets but like the limey greeny colour. So let's see. Uh, no. Uh, uh, uh. Could it be that one? Ooh, could be that one. I think it's that one. And let's have a look. Just pop those back in large rounds. So let's see. Yep, that's that one. So we can put a name on this one as well. And this is actually a Z. So we are Z25. Okay. And that's that one. Oh, we're getting through them a little bit quicker than I thought. But yeah, I think I'll just finish off the ones with the numbers on. And then we'll do the others another time. Otherwise, this video gets far too long. <laughs> so that's those bags, and that is number 12. So I always put uh, all the bags inside the bag with the highest number. So I know that's how many are actually uh, in the little set. And then I know which ones I'm using. Okay, so that's that one. And this goes back in my little packet, so in my little book. Yay! Right, now then, this is Snowman. 
Oh, yes, this was the gorgeous snowman. This is from last year, October last year. So, has he got, he has got code numbers on. So, look, I didn't notice, or if I did notice, I've not taken any notice of the numbers on the sides from last year as well. It's not a new thing at all. It's just that Liz hasn't noticed it thing. <laughs> So this is one of my favourites, the owl and then this snowman were my two favourites this year. Um, and the snowman is the one with the scarf that's got a really textured scarf on it and it looks excellent. It looks excellent, so yeah. So one, three, four, is that number two? No, that's five. Five. Number five, we've got 93 on it, which actually is 310, so that's interesting as well. Um, three, four, one, don't know where number two's gone. Is that one number two? There's number two, look. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, had a lot of specials in this one. Ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Go back over there, you. The gems that haven't got a code number on are trying to creep in. So, number one is number three. Okay, so we're right at the beginning. Red number three. So yeah, I could have been doing this all that time, look, instead of colour matching and messing around. Oh. Hindsight's a wonderful thing. <laughs> and number two is number 27, which is our greens. It's funny how as you're sort of using them as well, you start getting used to the numbers. Um, I think when you start diamond painting, if you're watching videos and things, uh, 310 black is the number that you get used to the most. And then uh, there's a plane going over. 5200, uh, your bright white is another one that you get used to. So that's number 27. And then number three is number 71. So let's have a look, have we got 78? 74, oh, 70, we've not got a 71, so we need a number 71, and I'm going to use a, a Rebecca sticker on this one, because these are the, uh, these are the crystal ones, sorry, I didn't see that, did you? I'm at the bottom of my desk, I need a higher up camera and a bigger desk, otherwise you can't see everything that I'm doing. Okay. And that's just jumped off. This label didn't want to stay on my packets either. Oh dear. So, and I was just thinking that's number 12, but it's not. It's number 71. I've got it upside down. There you are. <laughs> oh, my writing's appalling. Right. And then at number four is number 87. So let's have a look for number 87. 88, 82, oh sorry, 85 that one is, and 93. So we've not got an 87. So that's another new one. all the sevens okay pop that one on to there actually it's coming in a bit misty Ooh. we have had quite warm temperatures although we've had a lot of rain it has been sort of 14 15 degrees celsius so it's been quite warm for uh, this time of year which isn't good the trees and everything and the birds start uh, going into spring mode and then if it suddenly goes um, dark again, uh, it goes cold again, then uh, 
Yeah, it's not good for them. Right, and so number 93. So that is black. Yeah, I have actually put number 93 as black. So I'm going to leave it for now. Hmm, that's interesting. It'll maybe help when I'm sorting out the gems into the colours. And see where we end up with that when I actually put DMC codes on. See whether that does actually make up to uh, 310. Alright, and then the last one is 195. Well, the last... Uh, of the crystals and we have got a 195 just a few okay so that can go in there so most of these crystals before with the numbers on are what i've done uh, from christmas cards and things right so number seven is yx058 so that's strange because that's like a whitey cream colour and that's like a standard size. Um, I know I've definitely not got that because I wouldn't put that in there. But I'm I'll put it in for now with uh, a little number on. Hmm, strange. It looks like um, 3865 to me. But anyway, we'll put it in here. So it's YX058. Eight. I can only just fit that on. Maybe I should have used the rectangular ones, but I like my little hearts. I'm liking little hearts. Yeah, they're not glow in the dark, unless they are glow in the dark. With that colour that's like. No, I don't think they are glow in the dark. I think they are 3865. Strange. Okay. So, put those. Ooh, static, static. Everybody out. We've got a few booking Broncos not wanting to get out. Come on, out you get. Oh, I'll escort those out later. Put those there for now and I'll sort those out another time. Right, let's get down in the uh, depth shoe, boys. Right, so uh, we're putting those in white, weren't we? So that's black, that's white. So we'll put those in white rounds. So the next one, number eight, again, we're back in white. So we're looking for 34. So let's have a look and see what we've got. So these are like a pearl dome in the white colour. That's the right colour, but the wrong size. That's too big. That looks too big as well, but we'll double check those there as well. Yeah, you see, I've got those there, actually. Hmm. I've got smaller ones in there as well. Strange. Okay. So, let's have a look at these. Right. So, that's too big. So, is it that size? Yes, those. So, we have found... A match for that one. Yay! So this one, number eight, is YX34. Oh, that's smudged. So YX34. I won't put the zero at the front and then I can fit it on better. All right. Okay, I did get a roll of 3,000 of them, so I can afford to just waste that one. That's okay. It looks like I've actually got cream and white in this one. But I can always pick them out if I need them. Right. So it's not an exact science, this, and I do keep changing my mind as to how I'm doing them as I go along. I sometimes find a better way, and then if that doesn't work, then uh, I try something else as well. So it's not um, an exact... This is how I'm doing it, and it's staying this way. Right, I've got some more red rounds, so I want an YX78. Did I actually already have a, a YX78? Ooh, now then, YX, where is all the others? Some more Qs, aren't they? So, let's have a look. We might have another number then. So, these are the red rounds without any facets. So, let's have a look. There. Look at 
those. There ones without facets. Okay. Round me, put them in the right place. Right, so let's have a look at these. So it could be that one. We've already got two numbers on that one, though, they're too small. And they've got facets on. So, ooh, so we've got another number for these then. Right, I'm going to put that number on as well. Uh, so maybe different manufacturers use different ones. Mm -hmm. So this is a Y X seventy eight. Okay. So we've got the craft buddy number, which is seven uh, one oh seven. We've got the last number which was Q O eighty nine and now we've got a Y X seventy eight. Mm. Okay, if this doesn't work out and I end up having lots of different ones and lots of different numbers, then to be fair, I might just uh, scrap the numbers, but we'll see how we go. We've got to try these things. I'm going to just end up with bags covered in numbers, aren't I? <laughs> All right, so number 10, actually, and we'll have a look at number 12 as well, because they are both... Marquise in silver. So we're back in silver and we want Marquise. So Marquise, Marquise. Right. So we want ones with uh, a coating on and ones without. And the smaller ones. So let's have a look. It's smaller than that one. Is it as small as that? I think it's bigger than that, so it could be that one. So I think they are the two that those. Okay. Silver marquees back away. Right. So, yep, they are definitely those. So number 10 is a... YX77. Ah, you see, now that's 78 and 77. So I think these are just this company's um, codes. And actually, I say this is the old one. So maybe these are an old style and an old one. So maybe these aren't the correct numbers that they now use. Maybe this just was either this manufacturer or uh, just this run of this picture. Yeah, so maybe starting doing them uh, last year wasn't the right thing to do. Okay, so 77 and then they look like, or are they? No, they look like they've got a little bit of like a greeny tinge to them. Mm, but yeah, when you put them next to like the silver, they have, they've got a green tinge to them. So put those back in there. So let me have a look in green marquees. I don't think I've got any of these, but I will double check. So as pale as possible we have a look no they're pale but they've got an iridescent coating on oh look at all those left over that's from, from from one of my big pictures all right and that's why my box is full so i want a new bag for this one and we are Number 12 is YX136. Yeah, I think I'll uh, possibly in future have to start using the rectangular labels because I can't quite fit my writing on and I write very small. I know it's scruffy, but I do write small. All right. Let's put 
that is in here. Everybody in. Okay, so some marquees. Uh, oh, green, aren't I? I'm putting them in green. So, yep, yeah, definitely a green tinge on those. I thought they were silver, but they're not. And then last but not least, number 11 is a hot pink with an iridescent coating in uh, a marquee. So pink, pink marquees. Not many of them. And that's the right size, but they haven't got the coating on. So that's another new one as well. Ooh. Hot pink. <laughs> Okay, so this is oops right on the label is not on the bag. Oh tell you these labels. Let me put it on the bag then and I'll write it on the bag. There you are, right. So Y X oh that's not very good, Liz. Uh 101. Ooh, room 101. Right. So that's those. everybody in there so pink 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 marquees lots of marquees today and that's that one done yeah I just say this one's from October last year so possibly that's why the numbers are different right and then we have eight on this one, and this one was the Christmas Owl. Oh, this was the Fan Cells Green Christmas Owl. Oh, he's lovely. Red and green owl. Uh, not many to do on this one. Okay, yep, that was the little red and green owl. So we just want that bit out for now. Number one is the standard crystal. And while I'm in here, and seeing as this is the last one, let me put all the other crystals in here as well. So, just get these crystals put in here. A few more empty bags. Okay, this box filled. Oh, this jar filled, yay! And let's see where we end up with a full jar of crystals. I might just leave it as is and use it as an ornament. I don't know whether they're blue or not. It's got a bit of a bluey tinge to them anyway. I'll put them in here. Put them in there. These are all ones that I've done that uh, didn't have any code numbers on any of it. So a lot of them will be the special projects that I've done. Okay, those. And some more. Wow. I think it must be the colour that goes into specials. But it is so pretty. They do look so sparkly. And last. Oh, da da da. Out you get, out you get. Oh, it's coming in really dark quickly tonight. It's definitely stormy weather. Uh, I've got my Alexa. Uh, changed so that it well it it popped up over Christmas and said would you like notifications when uh, there's a bad weather notification and I said oh yes that'd be good well unfortunately it goes bing bong a little bit like our ring doorbell now so unfortunately poor little Millie thinks of somebody at the door every time the Alexa goes bing bong so I have a need to look and see if I can get that taken off because <laughs> it's just tormenting her basically Oh, there's me thinking that these have got the codes on and they haven't look. There isn't any codes on this one. Oh dear. So these are just standard ones. <laughs> so they just all want to go in generic. And uh, yeah, they just want to go in generic. So I have done. Oh, never mind. So I will put those in with all the generic crystals. Okay, and 
can be put away now so that's the new style of doing that box actually while i did it i should have uh, done it because i've put them the wrong way around look i've put the box the wrong way around so i need to sort that out as well another job to do and then these are all of my crystals to put away that don't have any numbers that i will do on another video another uh, kitting down video another day so that this video doesn't end up about four hours long okay well i hope you've uh, seen something that uh, has maybe helped or you've enjoyed this little chat and just seeing how i store my crystals and everything and um, if you have enjoyed the video a thumbs up is always very much appreciated any comments or questions in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I'd love you to join our little family and subscribe. And you can do that by pressing that little button down in this corner. And then an all notifications bell pops up and you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay. Okay. Thanks ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.